I know many of you have been waiting anxiously. We get emails and phone calls on a daily basis. Who's going to be the next executive director of the Family Policy Institute of Washington? Well, today I am pleased as punch to welcome Senator Mark Melosha as FPIW's next executive director. Welcome, Mark. I'm Thank glad you, you're here. Absolutely. It's good it's to be here. It's a thrill to have you here. I have to tell you that uh, after the election night, uh, we were really sad that uh, you unfortunately lost your re-election bid um, of the th all three marks. And I've worked with you for now two years. And even when the mar marriage was on the ballot uh, back in 2012, and it's been a thrill to work with you. And it was painful to lose you in the Senate, but we are blessed to have you at FPIW. Thank you very much. God has a purpose for everyone. When one door closed, I'm no longer a senator another door opens, maybe even a bigger and better job right now working with FPIW, your great coalition, all your grassroots folks, the different churches spreading the word about how we make our society better. That's great. And tell me, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I know and the people that I relate to know, but maybe not our wider audience. Tell us a little bit about you. Well, frankly, I've been blessed. And, um, and everybody counts their blessings in different ways. One of them is I've been married to Michelle now for 38 years, wow. six months and 16 days. <laughs> so I've been blessed with Michelle, yeah, I've been my partner for life. And the other numbers I keep track of, uh, three children and now up to eight grandchildren. So uh, Michelle and I are, are true partnership trying to serve our God, our Lord, and, um, and making sure that our community and our state um, becomes a better place, a more faithful place. Wonderful. And you spent how many years in the state legislature? Was it 16? It was uh, right now 18 years um, and three years as a local commissioner. And before that, I worked as a director at uh, Tacoma Goodwill, helping individuals with disabilities. And before that, 10 years in the Air Force as a contract manager, working different programs and audits and as a B-52 pilot. Wow. I remember hearing about that. I remembered I better be on my best behavior with you around here too. I'm sure well, you have some connections that can get me in trouble. <laughs> well, sure. It was it was a part of my life that I really enjoyed serving our country. It was a, a core uh, function of my belief system is what I learned there is serving our country in the Air Force. Well, and, and I got to understand that sitting with you in, in the Senate in the last couple of years, even hearing you in the interview, uh, your life is about service and about service uh, to our community, and we are thrilled to have you here with that. Why FPIW, though? You know, I imagine you could have, when the dust settled, had a number of offers, but why FPIW? I think all of us have been blessed with, you know, talents, um, treasure, blessings, um, but I'm a person who wants to really serve our Lord, and FPIW is serving in trying to make our politics, our, our policies here at the state level, um, work on critical issues like family, marriage, uh, parental rights, religious freedom. So FPIW is actually on the forefront of what I was doing as a state senator. So it's an easy transition for advocating those issues as a state senator versus being out there with FPIW and its talented coalition, talented staff, and working to try to make this place something where, f where faith and family is treasured and promoted. That's great. And unfortunately, we don't see much of that in Washington right now. Um, what do you see as our biggest issues here in the state? Uh, you know, we've talked about uh, doing uh, strength, weakness, opportunity, threat analysis. How about for Washington uh, in, a, in a brief 90 second ele elevator speech? Charles Dickens said it right. We live in the best of times. We live in the worst times. Uh, right now, you look, we are uh, materially we're, uh, we're blessed here in Washington State, especially here in Seattle and King County. But at the same time, uh, our culture has, has almost a sickness. People are searching for truth. And Christianity, which used the Judeo-Christian ethic that used to bind our country and state together, seems to be withering away on, on the vine. Uh, people are searching for meaning rather than this kind of harsh nihilism, you know, a culture of eat, drink, and be merry. And so I think it's up to uh, the faith community and organizations like FPIW to be that kind of salt and light for our society. Focus on the policies, energize our state so we have true prosperity, 
heart, mind, body, and soul, rather than looking at, 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 at this kind of narcissism that's growing. I think people are searching for, me, looking for meaning, organizations are searching for meaning, mm -hmm. and uh, FBIW, I know, is going to be part of the solution. Oh, great. Well, uh, even as we uh, talked uh, in, in the open here, it's a thrill to have you here, um, and I, I look forward to working with you. Where do you think we go first come the turn of the year when you officially take your spot here? Well, we have a legislation, uh, very critical uh, legislation session coming up here in Olympia. Uh, 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 there's going to be a lot of radical policies being proposed. So we have to make sure that, that an alternative is, is or, uh, or at least some sort of voice for, for sanity happens down in Olympia. Mm. But then uh, we have to go out again. Uh, it's, it's a coalition has, has to be built in Washington State. Uh, some say Washington State is one of the most unchurched society, uh, state in the nation. But we have to build that coalition that brings our values into the public square, into the political square not just at the state level in Olympia, but even at the different local levels and communities we have across our state. So I'll be running around trying to meet folks, trying to energize folks and inspire folks to be involved. And let's work together for a society that where, where God is treasured and our faith help guides us. Wonderful. Well, as I said, you know, we've had calls nearly daily and emails, people saying, Who's going to be the next executive director? And it is really a pleasure to welcome you on board. Again, thank, thank you, you for joining us, and we look forward to having you in the office officially in January as you finish out your term as a senator and come on in after the new year. So thanks again. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.